right? That's what she said, too. She said, good, Mom, so you can graduate and celebrate like you're supposed to and have people come and, you know, want you to Although, be there. Although, I actually have a friend who thinks she caused the coronavirus because <laughs> her, her son was supposed to be getting married in... Oh! In the <laughs> She doesn't really like the person she's be marrying, and so um, she was praying that something <laughs> keep it from happening. Oh my god! I didn't know it was gonna be. That. Wow! <laughs> I take that as a mother, though. I guess I, I don't want to say her name because yeah. I'm uh, not a good idea. <laughs> So maybe it was maybe it was you and her together, and you know, like so. Hannah can now come and paint your wings. <laughs> Although, yeah, I just even at that, I would like to have gotten it done at least to have it finished because the FAA requires that if you go two weeks without outside of that training, you have to start over. Yeah, you'll again. have to start over. So we're gonna have to start at the beginning, and uh, You'll be so much better, though. You already know oh, the answer my gosh. you're looking for. And I, still, I still won't be surprised if when they invite everybody back, words are going to be said to the people that freaked out, unless, like you said, nobody saw that, except for the students. Yeah, I don't because think we're That be makes scared. me nervous. And ho or hopefully if those people freaked out that bad that they realize yeah. maybe they are in the wrong industry. Yeah. Because how are they going to take the people change. in the air? Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, so talking about what happened during our earthquake here, so it was a 5.7 or 5.6. Yeah, it was pretty good. So we were um, all standing. I, th I don't think class had started yet. No, but we were just waiting for class to start. So we were all in the classroom and just kind of standing up and milling around and stuff. And all of a sudden, boom, I thought a bomb went off. Damn. And so I just assumed that an airplane blew up in the hangar or – somebody disgruntled employee set off a bomb. I mean, because that's what it felt like. That's what it sounded like. And the building was swaying so much that I couldn't stand up. I, I, I have been in some earthquakes, but they haven't been that serious. Yeah. So I was just like, what is happening? People were diving under the tables and I'm just like riding the wave and thinking what's going on. And finally I look around, I'm like, I better get under the table. So I go under the table and the building literally goes so far over I mean, I, the girl in front of me was crying. So I just had my hand on her and I was just praying for her. <clears throat> and I thought, okay, this is it. This building's going down. I don't know if there's fire. I don't know what's going on here. And if this whole thing's going to go crashing down around us. Well, because it tipped, tip you. it tipped. So it felt like literally we were going to go down. And then it righted itself. Obviously it's a big hanger. So it's it's probably got a little more move to it. How high? And it was How built in earthquake with earthquake. You yeah. Know, How tall is X. it? How tall? We were on the second story. How many stories is it? I think it's just two. Yeah. Two yeah. stories. Still tall. High. And the hangar area is two stories. So there's two stories and then it's the wall stops and then there's half of it is a, just a hangar that's mm -hmm. all one. Yeah. But it has to be big enough for the airplane to get in. So, or in it airplanes so anyway I just once everything kind of righted itself a little bit I was so thankful that it was an earthquake I I just was like oh my gosh I'm so happy that this was it wasn't a bomb and then um we had some really big aftershocks close after that and we were still like do dive under the table I mean some of them were pretty serious but we were just I think 10 miles from the epicenter yeah not where yeah. we were Hmm. So we were pretty close, but it was so scary. I mean, just not knowing and really totally assuming that we were, we had been bombed. So yeah, it was, it was a crazy experience. And to be in a room with so many people and to have that happen with everybody. And like I told you, you know, some people really, I mean, there were, there's young people you know, I think they have to be 21, but young and then older. And some of the young kids were really crying and a couple older ones were really shaken up. And I, I don't necessarily respond like that in a, when stuff happens, you know, maybe because I've had so many kids, but. Well, also, I think you realize, Lori, we've talked about this as panic during the, during yeah. an episode like that doesn't actually serve you. 
you know, yeah. it, it, it's the same as like worry, yeah. you know, it doesn't serve you. You need to wait and then assess. And then yeah. if you need that adrenaline to, to yeah. act, yeah. otherwise you can't yeah. act, you know? Well, that's usually what I do is I don't like freak out and panic. I usually stop, which is kind of what I did. I was standing there like, okay, what's happening before yeah. I said, okay, this is what I need to do. And I did it. Yeah. But, um, I tend to not be the panicky one, but I do stop. I do kind of freeze. And like you said, assess and okay. What, what's my next, what's my move. And I think that that's part, I don't know if it's just being a mom or to all of that, that, you know, when things happen and especially with, with your kids, you don't want to respond so that you create fear in them, no matter the situation. So maybe I've just trained myself that way just to, yeah. kind of, you know, be a little I more. I think I've, uh, I've done both. <laughs> I've yeah, whatever's both. happening inside. I mean, yeah. inside I was like, what's going to happen? I'm going to die today. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have <laughs> reacted for definitely um, in, in certain situations, but typically I'm just on, I'm really quick to be the first one to like do something. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I can uh, see that in you too. But I have, there was, I remember there was an incidence with my daughter where she got hit by a jet ski and oh. I had to pull her out of the water. Oh she got the back God. of her leg. She got hit on the back of her leg as she was getting into the boat. Oh. And, um, and I started. Something to, was jet skiing that close to you, it, and close to your it, boat. Yes, it was. Um, it was my Whoa. husband at the time. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> and he was joking around and tried to rooster tail and the and the jet ski didn't turn fast enough and Brittany was on her way up into the um oh boat. She, she was on the back you know the deck part and he saw he was going to hit her and so he just scooped down and grabbed her butt and like lifted her up but he still got her right on the back like smashed her leg between the jet ski and oh, the deck of the boat my God. and so I dragged her in and I just started to like freak out because she's hemophilia she's got you know she oh, doesn't right. clot and um you know some of these other health issues that she has <clears throat> and so I remember I started to like freak out a little bit and then I'm like I had I, yeah. my and then she started panicking and then yeah. I had to like go oh wait a minute because she when, when yeah. I saw yeah. my reaction of get her in the boat you know and like and we get her in there and she looked at me and she just started to freak out and so then I just had to like chill Okay. Right, right. Like, it's okay. Yeah. You're okay. Let's get you. We're going to yeah. get you down under. But, um, I realized. Was she bleeding? That, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Her, oh. she ended up having to go, she was in a, not a cast, but a brace for like six weeks or so oh. and off work. Oh. She couldn't go to work. She couldn't walk. <laughs> you just don't mess around with that kind of stuff. Oh I my know. God. You think you'd have some boat sense if you yeah. have a boat, you know? You think you would, but nonetheless, the story was that I overreacted. And then once I saw that panic and it made me realize that 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 didn't help. And that was out of my realm. And I think it was because it was her as opposed to, because I've been in, you know, I've been in her before coming from California, but with other people, I've tended to be the the one that it's like, okay, what do we got to do? Like, I get really excited. I'm like up here. I'm like, okay, we got to do this. And I can like make decisions really quick. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that one time he didn't react really well. So good for you for not overreacting and helping some of those people see that panic wasn't going to serve them, you know? Well, even with your kid, I mean, um, you, you got yourself together. I mean, you realized, Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Cause I, I saw what I was doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, and there was a few people in the class that definitely rose to the occasion. I mean, that were, calming everybody and one of the guys in the class is like it's okay everybody under the table stay calm it's all going to be fine and he was loud you know had a booming voice and so that was uh, so appreciated the people that do just rise to that I mean it's cool to see that too I mean there was definitely a lot of good stuff and uh, most of the people from California they were like yeah I've never been in an earthquake this serious before either but they were calmer probably People from Illinois. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe the younger ones haven't been in, because I don't know when yeah, the last bad um, earthquake been a while. It was, but I know yeah. in the 70s, and yeah. we've had some good ones in the 70s and yeah. 80s for sure. And I think even, yeah, maybe early 90s, there was a, 
there was a pretty good one in San Andreas Fault. Yeah. Where yeah. I live near. I really kind of forgot about that. You're right. There haven't been really big ones in California for a long time. A while. No, remember they used to say yeah. that one day California was going to have an earthquake. It was going to fall off into the ocean. <laughs> Who knows? Right there on the <laughs> We're shaking it up here. Well, well Idaho I, had a six point five after us. Who did? Idaho. Six point five earthquake. Yeah. Wow. So that was worse than the one we had, which was five point six. Okay, see, I'm convinced God's mad at the Mormons. <laughs> I mean, come on. Moroni lost his trumpet <laughs> off the temple. Isn't that crazy. Fell oh. to the ground. And then Idaho gets a 6.7, which is only the next biggest, like, right. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, back to the virus. So, (laughs) but everybody's experienced because not everybody went through that earthquake that we did, but it's definitely um, crazy. Well, and here's the thing I want to know, other than like, we think that I got it, you know, we think that I was at your house when I had gotten it, but like, I don't know anybody that's had it other than, like I said, like me, you know, and if I had it, then that means Jeff and his sister and brother-in-law had it. But like, I haven't, you know, heard of anybody I know out of all the girl I know. And when you had it, anybody, I haven't heard anybody that says that they have had it. When you had it? It yeah. wasn't even being recognized yet here in the United yeah. States. So it was like, well, I got it on not uh, even really big on the radar when you had it. Cause you were like, I don't know why it feels so bad. Mine was February, February 18th was the day that mm-hmm. I came over to your house. I felt bad. And the, re- and the only yeah. reason I can remember that is it's the day that I had my cancer checkup oh, and yeah. I went in right. and it was, and it was later yeah. in the afternoon and during the day I yeah. felt okay. And I had gone in and it was like three o'clock in the afternoon and I felt like, I just was getting like a sore throat. I wonder and if you got I, it at the hospital. I was at the hospital and she told me, you know, and she's like, how's it? How are you feeling? Well, and I can pull up my blood test now and see that my white blood cells and stuff were wacky from them doing that blood draw that day. So I was clearly oh. sick. But, yeah. um, so I told him, you know, I feel fine. I just get in a sore throat, but I think it's from, cause I've been singing. I've been practicing a song. I wanted to sing. And then by that evening, when I got to your house, remember I came in and I'm like, I'm not feeling not really good. good. So let's just get this yeah. podcast done. And I want to go home yeah. and I got home and went to bed and I was 102, 103 for the yeah. next three days. Then sore throat. I didn't have a lot of mucus, but I had body aches and I had a lot of pain up here. This part yeah, I mean, <clears throat> joints, you know, like the flu, freaking flu. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then um, on the third day um, I lost my voice. And then I had this cough that I could not, like, I couldn't hardly breathe in. Like I'd go to take a deep yeah. breath and I couldn't, yeah. and, and it would just, and then I'd cough and cough, but I couldn't get it up. Like it was yeah. so stuck and that lasted a week. Yeah. And now, yeah, and, and that, and the then it sound like it. Yeah. And then it got bad or like the cough got a little more productive, but for a week I could barely take a breath in deep breath. And now even today I still like, <clears throat> I'll cough something. I'll be like, Oh, there's still some crap in there. Yeah. So I think you yeah, you're right. We didn't know. And even my friend, Brian, when I told him I was sick, he goes, maybe it's the coronavirus. And I'm like, coronavirus, what the heck is that? Yeah. Well, and at that point too, you could have been around anybody because of how it spreads. You could have been at the grocery store. Well, we think, yeah. You, well, you could just, have been in your yoga class. Your or, brother-in-law were here from, well, we have been in Vegas. And then we flew home on the oh, plane. Oh. So we could have been on the plane. And then Jeff, Jeff's sister and brother-in-law were here and they were sick from yeah. Oklahoma. They flew in from Oklahoma, got here on that Saturday. They were here before we got home on Monday. They'd yeah. been that whole weekend. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So it was in the house. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Cause you got sick after they got there, right? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Maybe it was, maybe they brought it with them. Yeah. That's what we're thinking. And, and, but like I said, out of everybody else that I know, like on Facebook or just friends that I talked to, family. I don't know anybody that's gotten it. Yeah. Most people don't. And yet there's all these people that, you know, they're getting it and dying. And, you know, the biggest part of the thing, you know, like we, because of who Jeff is and, you know, he's in the, in in the film industry and he's around these experts that, um, in the medical community, um, his sister included, you know, she's PhD. Um, so, um, some of the scare 
and, and, and this isn't to like lessen it, like say that it's yeah. not as, um, as contagious as it is.